as an amateur kickboxing bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds at a weight of 145 pounds. This bout is proudly sponsored by Mac Malkin Cadillac, and your referee in charge of the action is John English. And now introducing first, hiding out of the blue corner, wearing blue and black, and entering the cage for the first time. He's representing Fighting Arts Academy. Please welcome Isaiah Rawls. And who's avoiding across the cage? Fighting out of the red corner to my right. He's wearing black, red, and gold. He's also making his kickboxing debut. Representing bare knuckle BJJ. Please welcome Dave Deluca. All right, John Vina is leaving the cage. John English bringing him center of the ring. The cage is getting locked, and here we go. Fight number one is underway. Dave DeLuca quick to take the control of the center of the cage here. He needs to keep his chin down, though. Yeah, DeLuca definitely hangs his gloves down a little lower than, yeah. than I'm comfortable with. Yeah, he's got a, a, a he's standing up straight like a Muay Thai stance. Yeah. Right. Where you can see Isaiah, yeah, Isaiah yeah, is crouching so a little bit. Yep. A little turn of the tide, I think. Yeah. Isaiah is doing exactly what I told you before. He's using boxing feet. Absolutely. He's keeping his stance yeah. tight. He's keeping his yeah. gloves in tight. Yeah, and he, he'll set his kick up after, off of uh, his feet. Yeah, Long definitely seems a little more composed, too. Uh, yeah. It seems like Luca's, I don't know, maybe he's going Muay Thai, yeah. or, or maybe he's just used to being so free uh, with MMA. Well, if, if you look at Long, he's got his eyes on his opponent the whole time. And that's, especially for a young fighter, that's one of the most important things you can do. Yeah, he's really sticking the chin out there. He's getting yeah. tagged up quite a bit with Absolutely. his chin up high. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just a matter of odds. I'm not trying to call this fight, but you can only keep your chin up so many times. He's game, though. And he was telegraphing those kicks. Yeah. I mean, he almost handed it over to Long for him to grab it. You know, it's his first fight. You, you learn a lot from it, you know? Absolutely. You know, I think that's his third spinning back fist he's gone yeah. for. And and, and that just proved my point. He doesn't have the best balance in the world, and that's right. the move you want to try to throw well, out there. Well, that's just all on your feet. That's in your legs. And once he, if he settles down in the second round, he might be able to pull it back in together. Absolutely. Well, uh, normally, uh, Dan Green, at the end of each round, I ask who, uh, who that round went to. I think we're going to all agree on this one. Yeah. Uh, Long definitely took that one. Yeah, and, and, and another thing about Long, he looks nice and relaxed. No, absolutely. Uh, you know, if, if you're the coach in uh, DeLuca's uh, corner right now, what are you telling him he's got to do to switch it up? Right now, I have him breathing, relax. This is what you train for. When you come out there, relax with your breathing. Don't get ahead of yourself and definitely keep that chin down. Because if you don't, it's just going to be hanging out there. Absolutely. Dan Bonnell, what do you think of that first round? Well, I'm going to give it to Isaiah, but um, that, you know, he, Dave came out, he looked good at first, but Isaiah took control of that round, and, and with Dave just sticking that chin out there, it's just it's a matter of time, I think. You know, they, it, it's a reaction. You want to pull your head back to avoid that punch, but that, you know, when you're when you're new like this, you, they're going to teach you, you got to duck that head, you got to keep that chin down, take those off the forehead. Try not to take it off the chin. Well, let's see if his corner told him what you guys just said. Here we go, guys, the start of round number two. And once again, you see Long standing in the corner, gloves up, even ready to go from far yeah. away. He, Long's already finding his distance. What I'm trying to say, he's not committing on his punches. He's not falling forward. Absolutely. And, and that makes a big difference. Yeah, and, and, and again, there's that spinning back fist that yeah. shouldn't be out there. 
you can see that Dave DeLuca is the taller fighter, the longer rangier fighter. He's just not using it to his advantage right now. And that's yeah, why yeah. you can see that, that, that Isaiah is very comfortable in the pocket right now. And he's really swinging his punches out there. They're yeah. not really controlled punches at all. And you, you know, a lot of it just comes from your sparring that you're getting in the gym <laughs> and you're getting steady sparring. But he, he's doing a nice job. He's focused. See what I mean? His, his, his punches are going in very weak, very telegraphed. Yeah. Well, once your feet are moving like that, you tend to flail. It doesn't mean he doesn't still have power. Right. It just means he's decreasing the amount of power he could use on leverage. He's definitely a game kid, though. Long's going to be now, careful not to get now, too fancy right now. Now his mouth is open, so he's oh. going to... He can't do that. His gloves weren't even up. He just yeah. took a nice well, shot to the fatigued. face. Those spinning back fists and those kicks, they take a lot more out of you than Absolutely. the punches. He's a tough kid, though. You gotta give him credit. This is where you learn. It's a tough place to learn. But he's definitely game. And Long's gotta play it smart. Don't worry about kicks, don't worry about anything. Yeah. He's doing it perfectly yeah. right. He's picking him apart. Absolutely. And, you know, at this point, point because of the fatigue there's not a lot of danger for him so right. long can gonna... come in and take some chances english might call this deluca's getting very weak at the knees he's falling against the cage uh, he's going to go down eventually at this fatigue tough kid though very tough kid wow saved by the bell could not yeah. mean more than it does right now you know it always looks easy from out here of course but a kid gets in there you got to give this kid a lot of credit for hanging in there. Absolutely, but looking at the way he is now, he might not yeah. last another 30 seconds once that uh, third round starts. So obviously, guys, I mean, it's been Isaiah Long's fight uh, yeah. the whole time. Uh, no, at no point have I seen DeLuca take any advantage of anything going on. So, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry where we are now. Dan Bonnell, what do you think? I can tell you in between rounds, I could overhear John English telling the coaches that um, Dave DeLuca's got to improve his position right now because he's ready to call it. He's, he's looking to call it at this point. He, he, you can see him creeping in. He's not listening for the 10 seconds, right. whether there's 10 seconds or not, he'll call it at the last second. He's there to protect the fighter. And you can see the hands have just not been down for a full round. I mean, they've been down for a full round. Right. So he's in trouble and John's there to protect him. So I, I, I predict an early finish here in the third round. Yeah, I, I'd go along with that. And, and John's a very good referee too. He's a smart guy. He'll let it go to a point where it, it's no longer safe. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Cage is getting locked up. Round three about to begin. I'd... Yeah, he's he's going to be in trouble if he doesn't cover up. He needs to, he needs to, DeLuca just needs to jab and move away. Just survive right now. You'll learn from that. But if he keeps that chin up there, he's going to be in real... I mean, you know, at that point, he didn't even turn around to see where his punch was going. Yeah. That's so dangerous. Well, he, he, he can't get air right now. And you said in the first round, like, Isaiah hasn't taken his eyes no. off the look No, he's doing an excellent job. Excellent job. Oh, that's going to be it, folks. I think so. I don't know. John's stand he's still standing up, so John's letting it go. Yeah. No, he's calling it. That was too much. Yeah. You know, and I don't think anyone's surprised. I think that was a safe call. You know, it, safety of the athlete always comes first. And, you know, if this kid will come back and fight again. You just look at the film and learn from it. That's absolutely right. No, and again, we all knew who was going to take the fight. So John Inger said, you know what, there's no point in letting this go further because with, with him being so tired, one bad punch could have been really, uh, con yeah. could have gone really wrong. Yeah. Plus, he had his mouth open, and when you're not biting down on that mouthpiece, you can, you can have a bad injury. You can disinjure your jaw, crack your jaw. It's just fatigue mainly beat him at the end. Right, and, and you know what? He still stood up. He stood his ground. Yeah. You know? Hey, he, he would have kept fighting, you know? He would have. But at this point, it was good. Good first match. Yeah. Uh, you know, two young guys in their first uh, amateur kickboxing debut. 
nice little start for these guys. And again, you said it, and we'll probably say it a lot tonight. Watch the films, learn from your mistakes, come back another time. Yeah. Hopefully I'll do it again. All right, we're going to go to the center of the ring for John Vina for the official results. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. 53 seconds of the third and final round. Referee John English stops his contest. Through it by TKO victory in his kickboxing debut.